Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Preston with another break. Tonight it is 2012 Coop Town. I found this product on the discount shelf. Um, actually, I just did a little mail day. Um, this is a 2012 Cooper's Town. So, um, are guaranteed an auto in the box. I found it on the discount shelf at Hooterville in Cincinnati, Southwest Ohio. Um, if you're ever in town, check out Hooterville. They got a lot of great stuff. Um, I've seen these sell for like 60 bucks online recently. Um, and I got this, uh, like I said, the discount rack for like 35 bucks. So I thought, thought it was a pretty good deal. Um, just looking on the internet here at the cardboard connection. I always check out their checklist. They're really good. Um, Let's see what are we guaranteed? Parallel cards, three of them, numbered to two ninety nine. Um, going back to guys like Ty Cobb, a lot of incredible Hall of Famers, uh, Mike Schmidt, and all these guys. Just an incredible amount of. So that'll be good. What else are we guaranteed here? There's plenty of parallels. Uh, numbered five ninety nine, three per box. So you're gonna see a lot of numbered cards, and hopefully a big time auto. Let's see what happens. Let's start ripping. As always, I certainly do appreciate you guys hanging out. Preston underscore sports on Twitter. We'll post there before we go live. Keep you up to date on all the good stuff we got going on. Always a ton of fun for me to sit around and chat about sports. Look at some cards. All right. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we get something good. Let's just say 24 packs per box, five cards per pack. All right, let's see what happens. Win a trip to the National Baseball Hall of Fame. I think we'll probably be too late to get in on that giveaway, but come on. All right, starting off with a Mickey Cochran. Take a quick look at the card. 1947, it says. It's a good-looking card. Black and white. Uh, looks good with the light brown border. Mickey Cochran, catcher. From 25 to 37, what's that say? There you go. Mickey Cochran starts us off. Ralph Kiner. Obviously, you're just going to see a ton of Hall of Famers. 1975. Lou Boudreau. And what do we got? Museum pieces. What is this? Hank Aaron, home run ball number 714. Neat. Home run ball was hit to left center on April 4th, 1974 by Hank Aaron. Tying Babe Ruth with 714. Nice. And a big old spacer. Throw that aside. And Brooks Robinson. One of the best third basemen of all time. Uh, probably the best defensive third baseman of all time. Right, Luke? And win a trip to the Hall of Fame. All right. First pack down. Good looking product. Base cards are good. I think it's uh, what, about 150 um, cards in the base set, if I remember correctly. Thatcher Games and Sports. Thanks for coming back, buddy. You've been a great supporter of the channel. I certainly do appreciate it. Make sure everybody goes supports Thatcher Games and Sports. Roberto Alomar gets us going again. There he is, Nolan Ryan. Beautiful. Who doesn't like adding another Nolan Ryan to the collection? Pie Trainer, one of the best names ever. The old school uniform, baggy, tiny little baseball glove. Lou Gehrig, sweet Lou Gehrig. 
Oh, nice. One of my all-time favorites, Tony Quinn. Lost to him a few years ago. Uh, one of the greatest swings you'll ever see. A guy that could hit any direction, anytime he wanted. If it weren't for the strike in, what was that, 94, 96, something like that, um, he, he might have hit 400 that year. He was swinging the bat so perfectly. Love me some Tony Gwynn. That's the card I'm happy to have right there. Hopefully there's a weight box in here somewhere, too. Talk about sweet swings. All right, this pack is being a pain in the butt. Do these come with hits? Yes, sir. Um, you're going to see quite a few numbered cards. I think we're guaranteed at least three. And then uh, there should be an auto floating around in here somewhere. Hank Greenberg. Jim Rice. What's that? <laughs> Rogers Hornsby. That's Rogers with an S. And what do we got upside? Oh, that's a Ted Williams card. Beautiful. Any Ted Williams card I can get my hands on goes directly into the personal collection. American treasure, American hero, Ted Williams. You can't talk about sweep swings without mentioning Ted Williams. Willie McCovey. All right. Excellent player so far. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're having a good Tuesday. I guess it's Wednesday now, officially. King Kelly. An outstanding mustache. Kind of looks like Val Kilmer a little bit. If they ever make a King Kelly movie, we'll have to shave about 60 pounds off Val Kilmer and put him back to work. Duke Snyder. Early win. Early's not a name you see enough of anymore. Lefty Grove, like a tiny little baseball glove. And Addy Joss. In a strange turtleneck. Man, that's the face of a murderer. I don't... Look at that guy. He is terrifying. You come across that guy in a dark alley late at night, you better head the other direction. Addy Joss. Packs are all going to be difficult. I haven't seen any uh, numbered cards yet. Eddie Murray. Oriole legend, Sparky Anderson, beautiful. Here, just for fun, since I got it laying over here. Sparky Anderson. He's the best manager of all time. There's no doubt about it. Ozzy Smith. I'd rather have Barry Larkin. And credentials, Tom Seaver. Inducted 92 with 98.8% of the vote. Whoever didn't vote for him is an idiot and should never be allowed to vote for anything ever again. Tom Seaver was incredible. George Thomas Seaver. 20 seasons. 3,600 strikeouts. Three times Cy Young Award winner. And give me a look at the back. Every baseball fan should be well informed on who Tom Seaver is. And Fergie Jenkins, big time Hall of Fame right hander for your Cubbies. I mentioned uh, what a sweet Fergie Jenkins singles card, like a back card from Hooterville a while back, too. Ty Cobb. Every pack's a good pack when it's got Ty Cobb in it. Joe Cronin. Ed Delahante. Nah, I ain't going to try again. Who do we got here? Voices of Summer, Russ Hodges. Legendary announcer. He's no Marty Brenneman, I can tell you that. You have a good night, Thatcher. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Russ Hodges for the Giants. 
and Jim Palmer. There you go. All right, we're due for a numbered card or something here. Right? Phil Necro. Al Spalding. Looking dapper. Little bow tie in his hat. Come on. Oh, camera's being a jerk. Zach Wheat. There we go. Ah, Barry Larkin, one of my all-time favorites. I had the pleasure of uh, making him some cheese conies when I worked at local chili parlor here in Cincinnati. He'd occasionally stop by and get some food. Got to meet him a couple times. Super nice dude. Robin Yao. Excellent. Get rid of that. Jackie Robinson, number 42. Carl Yastrzemski. Frankie Frisch. Can't say I'm familiar with Frankie Frisch. <coughs> Pardon me. And the credentials, Roberto Clemente. Very nice. Inducted in 1973. And Buck Leonard. Rube Marquard. I mean, every name so far I was at least familiar with, I've heard of, except for Frankie Frisch and Rube Marquard. What's that? Rube Marquard. Richard William Marquard was a pitcher for the Yankees. Born in 1886 in Cleveland, Ohio. Rube Marquard. <laughs> There's Whitey Ford. There's a sideways Jim Bunning. Excellent. Cincinnati legend. There's Paul Wainer. And Enos Slaughter. Getting close to the halfway point here on this box. I keep going that upside down. All right. Ryan Sandberg. Excellent. Walter Johnson. Who doesn't love Walter Johnson? Bob Lemon. A couple of big time right handers there. And this is high praise. Luis Aparicio. And Pee Wee Reese. Ray Shulk. Look at that old catcher gear. Andre Dawson. Excellent. And Joe Tinker. And sideways, what ballpark do we have here? West Side Park in Chicago. City in the background there. That's a good shot. That's a good picture. I like it. And Ernie Banks. What's that? Oh, yeah, speaking of Chicago, yeah, no doubt. Eddie Matthews, Charlie Geringer, Ban Johnson, wearing a suit. Looks too old to be a player. Who's Ban Johnson? Served as league's president from 1901 to 1927. 
There's everything you need to know about Byron Bancroft Johnson. Did he? Cincinnati guy? Oh, what's this guy? Yeah. Ryan Sandberg. Excellent. This induction plaque, class of 2005. This is all his base card. Now we got the induction insert. And Cal Ripken Jr. There we go. The Iron Man. That's the first half. We haven't seen uh, any numbered card yet, unless I've totally missed something. Um, so the second half of this box, we haven't seen an auto either. There should be one. Um, my goodness. So hopefully the second half of this box will be good. Wow. That was a rough one. Chewed me up. All right. Napla Joy gets us going again. Obviously one of the best names in baseball history. Willie Killer. Billy Hamilton. The first Billy Hamilton. And our autograph. There it is. Tony Kubek. 46 of 200. Tony Kubek, a broadcaster, born in 1935, won three World Series titles as a player with New York. Uh -oh, come on. Uh, 30 years as a broadcaster, game of the week for 15 years, Hall of Famer to, I'll see, there you go, that's a little disappointing, Tony Kubek is going to be our autograph, this is a good looking card, it's a really good looking card. On card auto. Let's take a look at it real quick. I guess we'll stick him back here. Tony Kubek, New York broadcaster, Harmon Killebrew. Was that? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's a little disappointing. The Hawk. What's up, Stash? Thanks for stopping by. There are some number cards. Let's get some good number cards at least here. Sam Crawford, Hugh Duffy, Jimmy Fox. Nice. And sideways high praise, Whitey Ford. Left-hander for your New York Yankees. And Warren Spawn. Nice. Speaking of big-time left-handers. Charles Comiskey, Comiskey, Comiskey Field, Yogi Berra, there he is, if you're not familiar with Yogi Berra, give him a Google and spend a couple hours reading the things he's said in his life, it'll be a good hour spent, Alexander Cartwright, wearing a fireman's hat of some sort, well, I've heard that name, I think, Alexander Cartwright. Father of Modern Baseball. And exactly, he was big time involved in, uh, here, let me see if I can get it for you. Coming up with the rules and at the inception of baseball. Give it a pause and give it a read if you'd like. Hall of Fame history. Site of the first National Baseball Hall of Fame induction in 1939. And Juan Marichal. <laughs> oh, 
Frank Chance. You got Dave Winfield. Nice. And Fred Clark. Rick Farrell. How have we not seen any numbered cards here? Supposed to be at least three, according to Cardboard Connection. Burt Blylevin. Numbered on the back somewhere. And if we don't, yeah, if we don't see any, maybe we'll go looking. There's got to be one around here somewhere. Richie Ashburn, Tommy Lasorda. Beautiful. Mike Schmidt, best third baseman of all time. Al Simmons and Sam Thompson. Tony Kubat, huh? If you have any memories of uh, some outstanding calls from Tony Kubek, let me know in the comments down below. Eddie Collins, second best second baseman of all time, right behind Joe Morgan probably. And Luke Appling, Phil Rizzuto, and an induction card, Tony Gwynn. Beautiful. Love me some Tony Gwynn. Definitely. There was a really good, um, was it the MLB Network? Um, there's a really good Tony Gwynn document. Bob Gibson. Oh, man, talk about intimidating. Bob Gibson, go on YouTube and watch, uh, watch some Bob Gibson highlights. But there's an outstanding Tony Gwynn documentary out there. Uh, it talks a lot about, you know, his, his approach and hitting the baseball and Anything you can find on Tony Gwynn, watch it, because it was just unbelievable. And by all accounts, a good dude, too. You never hear anybody say a bad thing about Tony Gwynn. You got Harry Heilman in a sweater. Joe Medwick. Bruce Sutter. Look at that hair and beard. Don Sutton and Reggie Jackson. Mr. October. Johnny Bench was the real Mr. October. Carl Hubble, Christy Matthewson, Bob Feller, Gold Glove Outfielder, Dave Winfield, credentials card, A big super thick spacer, and Nelly Fox. Just a few more packs to go. As always, I do appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, sometime soon, we think Luke, we can get those Bowman on the channel sometime soon. I don't know. We, we may have found some Bowman, but I'm not sure. It's been hard to find. Rabbit Marinville? How have I not never come across this name before? Rabbit Mar Marinville? Rabbit Marinville. Shortstop. For your Pittsburgh Pirates. There's Big Stan Musial. He signed in this set. That would have been a little bit better than Tony Hubeck, probably. Melot. And Ballparks, what do we got? Bennett Park in Detroit. It'd be cool to have a Crosley Field or something. But, you know, if you, had, if you came across your own local city ballpark, those would be cool cards. And Tony Lazary.
Clemente one more time. Saw his induction card earlier. Satchel Page. Burley Grimes. It's a good name. I like the old pinstripe uniform. It's a good looking card. Sideways, it's the village at Cooperstown. And Billy Williams. So there has to be some something numbered on the back that we missed. Gary Carter. Bill Mazeroski. Al Barlick. <laughs> Look at that guy. He's excited. What's he do? He's an umpire. From Springfield, Illinois. Frank Baker, inducted in 1955. That's a really weird feeling card. Frank Baker, third base. This card, the stock is different. It's it's coarse. It's pretty neat. I like it. And Monte Irvin brings us to our last pack. It's either got something crazy in it or a huge spacer, I think. Probably a huge spacer. So there's got to be some number cards that we missed because according to Cardboard Connection, who I've never seen be wrong before, we were supposed to get some numbered cards. So uh, before we let you go, we'll jump in, uh, we'll jump into the pile and look at the back and see if we missed something. Tony Perez, I'm in Cincinnati, so that's excellent. Love me some Tony Perez. Herb Peanut, Bill Dickey, 565 feet home run from Mickey Mantle. Neat. That's a long home run. There's your big old spacer. And Al Lopez will finish us off. Catcher. Or manager. Says manager on the back. So somewhere, so there's there's Karen, there's gotta be I had to have missed some numbered something or other on the back. Definitely miss something here. We'll take a quick look. What's this got some kind of that's nothing. Well, if something was numbered, they did a good job of making it hard to see. Yeah, I don't see anything. Numbered Lasorda would have been cool. Huh? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't looking at the right checklist, I guess. The pictures looked... No, I don't see anything. No, I'm sorry about that, folks. I, at the top of the video, I said, you know, we'd be seeing some number cards. That wasn't the first. I had looked at that checklist earlier, too. The day I bought them, I looked at the checklist. I thought, well, it must have been a different checklist or something. I don't see anything numbered at all. Guess we'll keep working real quick. But I do appreciate you guys hanging out. It's always a ton of fun. Sitting here going through cards, chatting with you. I don't know what the next video will have. I don't have anything in the hole. Need to start working on this. Uh, go back and look at the mail day we just did. I'm putting together a big red machine collection. So is my buddy Luke. Maybe we'll uh, talk my buddy Kevin into it too. But um, Maybe we'll put up a video where... We we'll compare our big red machine autograph collection or something. I mean, I don't, 
the checklist was pretty specific and the pictures that were on the checklist looked accurate and the website cardboard connection is always accurate so uh, it must be user error it's got to be my fault i missed something but there's no numbers on the backs of any of these that i can see so yeah sorry about that some bad information at the top maybe i can try to get some clarification next time i come on i'll Relay that information to you. See where I messed up. Sorry about that. Oh, man. A little chip taken out of that Ozzy Smith there. All right. There you go. There's a look at your 2012 Cooperstown. We didn't get the big autograph. We got the Tony Quebec. But that's going to happen when you're digging in the uh, discount bin sometimes. Uh, speaking of the discount bin, pick this up at Hootersville in South west ohio if you're ever around cincinnati area go to hooterville it's a fantastic card shop um thanks for luke participating thatcher game and sports always good to see you buddy stash thanks for stopping by everybody else thank you so much i do appreciate it you guys are awesome i am preston be good have fun and i will see you next time